You can simply replace the coolant fluid or, for a more thorough overhaul, flush the radiator and the engine. But for all of these, you start by draining the coolant. So, with the engine completely cold, open the bonnet, locate the expansion tank and turn the filler cap anti-clockwise. Wait until any pressure left in the system is released, then unscrew it and lift it off. Now, underneath the vehicle, locate the coolant drain tap on the bottom of the radiator and place a suitable container underneath it, then open the tap and allow the coolant to drain out. On this car, the lower hose has to be removed from the radiator completely. This is a closed system, so in order for the coolant to come out, air has to get in, so you need to locate the radiator's bleed screw and open that. Well, on this car, it's located on the thermostat housing. When the coolant has finished draining, close the drain tap or reattach the radiator hose and empty the container beneath the vehicle before putting it back in the position for refilling. Antifreeze is a hazardous chemical, so check your local regulation for ways to dispose of it properly. At the same time, make sure all of the hoses are in good condition. Note that an antifreeze mixture has to be used in an engine all year round. And that's to prevent corrosion of the engine components. Antifreeze is sold in a concentrated and pre-mixed form. You'll need to check which one you're buying. If purchasing the concentrated form, then it must be mixed with water in the right proportions, so you'll need to know the capacity of your cooling system and the quantities of antifreeze and water that you need to add. With the expansion tank filler cap removed and a funnel in place, start off by pouring in a couple of litres of water. Do it slowly to prevent airlocks from forming, and make sure that the radiator bleed screw is open while you do it. Now add the correct quantity of antifreeze, then top up with more water. Periodically squeeze the radiator top and bottom hoses to help expel any trapped air in the system. Keep going until you see fluid emerge from the bleed screw. Close the bleed screw. Now top up the coolant level to the max mark and refit the expansion tank cap. Double check that the bleed screw is closed and then remove the container from beneath the car. To check everything's working properly, start the engine and run it at idling speed for about four minutes. Keep it going until the electric cooling fan activates, but during this time, increase the engine speed gradually from 2000 to 3000 RPM. Now, stop the engine and allow it to cool down completely, then check for leaks, particularly around any components you've removed and refitted. Check the coolant level in the expansion tank and top it up if necessary. Remember, the system must be cold before an accurate level is indicated in the expansion tank. Refit the filler cap. You can now take the car out on the road, but make sure to check the coolant level again after this first trip, once the engine has cooled down, and then top up if necessary. <laughs>